Hello everybody, it's Sergio again. Today I'm gonna follow up on my last video about the iPhone 4S battery problems. Uh, just a few days ago and probably like a week or less than a week, I think, no, maybe a week after Apple announced that the iPhone 4S and all its iOS 5 devices were suffering from a battery problem, uh, which it didn't uh, make the battery last as it should. Uh, Apple released a quick fix and uh, it was available in the in the settings here when you go settings and then you go to general and software update and it's called iOS 5.01 it has different additions like multi gesture for iPads and but more most notably is the fix to some battery problems that the iPhone 4s was having as I described in my previous video. Well, I can report now back to you that this fix has done some significant uh, improvement to the iPhone battery, at least on my iPhone. Uh, the improvement was maybe 100% since uh, my battery was lasting only a day, if I was lucky, a day, a day and some hours. Uh, with very low usage of my phone. So just making a few five minute phone calls and browsing the web for maybe five, 10 minutes a day, really low basic usage. And it was lasting only a day. Now it's lasting two days. <laughs> it's not a huge improvement, but it's, it's, it's an improvement. I had to say it did something and uh, it did improve the battery life by 100%. But this extended battery life from before is only in standby mode. I have to say this because I noticed that if I use my, my phone a lot, like uh, everybody would normally do, the, fa the, the battery will drain on the same way that it was draining before. I think the fix is only for standby. And by the way, I have deactivated location services, I have deactivated the iCloud, I made my phone like automatic uh, to automatically change its brightness so all those power saving features are on on, on the phone and it still lasts two days at most and that's with low usage and uh, after the update of Apple so this is an improvement I, I think it's great that Apple has released this uh, fix but I'm a little bit uh, skeptical about the time that it, it released it. It was really quick and uh, since I see that there is an improvement on the standby mode but not on f battery usage when you are using the phone itself, I believe, um, this is just speculation by the way, that Apple just rushed to get a quick fix of the iOS battery problem, especially for the upcoming Christmas season so they won't affect the cells of the devices and it didn't really do an in-depth review of the operating system and completely fix all the battery problems. So I think this is probably one fix, uh, but it's not the definitive fix. And I expect to see more fixes from Apple probably next year or early next year, because I'm sure there will be still complaints about the battery life two days with very low usage is not good enough for such a high-end device I will expect at least three days three days if if the, my iPhone will give me three days with low usage and two days with moderate usage I, and I will be happy but this is giving me only one day with medium usage moderate usage and two days with very low usage so there is still a lot of room for improvement that being said, it's a beautiful phone. I'm, st I'm still very happy with it. Uh, I just charged it over uh, at night, so and I'm not doing a lot of traveling recently, so it's, it's good for me. And I'm for sure expecting more updates and fixes from Apple soon. So I just wanted to come back with you with the report about the iPhone 4S battery problem. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.